Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. It's meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Let's get you the latest here on Hurricane Matthew. You can see that the storm now starting to slowly work its way across eastern Cuba. It'll be moving into the Bahamas over the next couple of uh, days here, at least the next 24 hours. And anyway, of course, we've got Tropical Storm Nicole. That is not going to be uh, much trouble to anyone at this point. Still a Category 3 hurricane, so it is weakened some as it's run into a lot of the mountains in both Haiti and Cuba. 125 mile an hour winds gusting to 155, moving north at around 10 miles an hour. So as as the storm continues, it is going to ramp up back to a major category four hurricane could be packing winds of around 130 miles an hour as it works its way towards the South Florida coast. Hurricane warnings are up across portions of South Florida. We've also got tropical storm warnings. Storm surge likely uh, going to be very devastating in some spots that will continue to wind its way up the coastline here. And then right now, new model information has it potentially taking a bit of a easterly turn and possibility that it may actually stay over across portions of the southern Atlantic here uh, out across the uh, southeastern United States. We have to watch this very carefully. It's brand new model information just came in, uh, but that's something that we're going to watch and you can see the track kind of reflecting that as well. And right now, though, Though, it is going to be an east coast storm, so not something that we have to worry about here across the Gulf Coast, but uh, we are going to see temperatures warming up again to around 87 to 88 degrees today, probably topping out close to about 90 in some spots. A couple of late afternoon showers, and that's about all that we'll get for today. Your 10 day forecast looks like this. We actually do have some fall weather moving back in, but not until we get into about Saturday. So we've got a front that gets hung up just to the west of us here over the next couple of days. And then eventually we start to see some better weather coming through here. If you're headed out to the Bayou City Art Festival or just about anything else, big game up at College Station. Aggies taking on Tennessee should be uh, good for kickoff there as well. And then we'll keep that uh, sunny skies around as we head in towards most of next week. That's your forecast from right here at clickthehouston.com. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll keep you updated throughout the rest of your work week. And you can track Hurricane Matthew at the top of the page here. Just go over to the Hurricane Headquarters page and get your weather anytime you need it right here.